Gnaeids are a great species of fish to keep if you're a conservation-minded fish keeper. Being hardy and being live bearers, they're relatively easy to breed. Unfortunately, most Gnaeid species are critically endangered in their native Mexico due to pollution and habitat destruction. Also, many Gnaeid species are extremely difficult to find in the aquarium hobby, and you'll most likely find them at either aquarium clubs or live bear conventions. Compounding this issue, is that some Gadea species are also known to be fry eaters. So I wanted to put a list together for the beginning Gadea keepers on Gadea species that are both easy to find as well as easy to breed in terms of fry production. So let's go ahead and get started with the list. The first fish I want to talk about is the Scyphia francese or Golan Scyphia. I've had success locating this fish at local swaps and auctions. Native to the Rio Teochitlan in Mexico, the Golan Scyphia is currently listed as extinct in the wild, unfortunately becoming extinct due to competition from other species, pollution, and modifications to its river system. Thankfully, there are efforts to reintroduce this fish back into its native habitat. I really do like the coloration on this fish with its golden yellow sheens and bronze colored body. Along with being beautiful and easy to breed, I found this fish to be fairly hardy and have not had any issues with fry production, which make this a great Gadead species to start out with. So now let's talk about one of my favorite Gadead species, the Iliadon fursidens or Trout Gadead. Although I can't support this with data, I'm fairly confident to say this is probably the most widely distributed and also most popular Gadead in the hobby. I've seen this fish in numerous places including being available online, as well as conventions and local club auctions. This is one of the few Gadead species that you can still find in significant numbers in its natural environment. This torpedo shaped fish gets its name due to its trout-like appearance. This is definitely one of the more beautiful Gadeads that you can find in the hobby. I currently keep two different groups of this fish, and both are bred readily in their 40 gallon aquarium with no issues with fry production. And this is a great fish to start your Gadead hobby with. The Zoogeneticus tequila, or tequila split fin, is another beautiful Gadead that's fairly popular in the hobby. This fish has a bronze body, and the males get a very beautiful orange tail, which I'm sure makes this fish extremely popular. I've seen this species available in Aquabin, as well as the occasional swap and auction. This species is critically endangered in the wild, having only a small population of fish, having been reintroduced back into the wild in 2016. This is another hardy species that's easy to care for and will drop fry on a regular basis. I don't see a reason why you would want to have this beautiful fish in your fish room. I'm going to cheat a little bit and include three fish in one category. And that's the Xenotoka Eisenai, Lion's Eye, and Doadroi. I've decided to include all three fish in one since at one point they were considered the same species and their care requirements are all considered similar. All three of these fish have a fairly similar shape, having a thick hump-shaped body with some level of blue and yellow on the tails, something I really do find striking in all three of these different species. Of the three species, you should be able to find the lion's eye and doadroi pretty easily at your local auctions, conventions, and even online. The true eyes and eye, I feel, is a little bit harder to find, and care should be taken to ensure you don't mix populations of either one of these species to avoid interbreeding. Along with the coloration of this fish, I really do feel that these Xenotoka species are some of the hardiest good ant species that you can find. I've even kept lion's eye outside in a summer tub where it continued to thrive and breed despite the warmer temperatures outside. If you're looking for a bulletproof Gadead, then I would highly recommend any one of these three Xenotoka species. The Chapelixis pardalis is another great Gadead that I would highly recommend for your beginning Gadead keepers. This fish has some pretty cool bronze coloration along with some black molting. While not as colorful as some of the other fish on the list, I don't feel this fish is ugly by any means. One thing to keep in mind with this fish is it will be a little bit harder to find. You more likely have to find it at a rare live bear auction or be lucky enough to find someone with your area that's already keeping it. You will find, however, that this is one of the more affordable species at these rare fish auctions. What really makes this fish stand out for beginners is its fry production. This fish is extremely prolific by Gadead standards and is really easy to breed. So if you're looking for some spawning success with a Gadead species, 
then I would highly recommend this fish. The Amica splendens is another common Gidead species that you'll come across in the hobby. This is another Gidead species that has a unique pattern with the males having a white to yellow band on their tail. Like many of the other Gidead species, this fish is also found in the Rio Teotitlan region, but unfortunately, it's been threatened due to habitat destruction. This is one of the more common Gidea species that you'll come across, finding it at local swaps, auctions, conventions, and even online. This is a great fish to start a colony with, since it's not a fry eater, so it's not terribly difficult to build your colony over time. Its availability and ease of breeding way do make this a great species to start with. If you're interested in getting started with Gidaeids, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and found some very interesting species to get started with. If you want to learn more about these species and any of the other Gidead species, I would highly recommend checking out the Gidead Working Group. I'll go ahead here and put a link in the description so you can find it easily. So with that being said, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.